Hey guys, in this video I will show you the T16 and Speed Greater Rift Mundunugu build. I will go over the gear, the skills and the gameplay. Since it's a farming build, I would recommend maxing out the movement speed in the Paragon tab. For the skills, you are going to use Spirit Barrage with the Manitou Room, Locust Swarm with Pestilence, Soul Harvest with Languish for the defense, Spirit Walk with Severance for movement speed, Big Bad Voodoo with Ghost Trance for defense, you can substitute by Slam Dance if you feel like you have enough defense, then Paranas with Paranado to group the monsters. For the passive, because it is a very squishy build, I would recommend taking Spirit Vessel and Jungle Fortitude, Grave Injustice for the resets, and the last one you can either take Rush of Essence for infinite mana, or you can use Confidence Ritual for more damage. For the gear, you are going to use the 5 Mundunugu set piece, the head, shoulders, chest, gloves and the boots, with the Captain Crimson belt and pants. You need the Ring of Emptiness, I am using Squirt Necklace with Convention of the Elements, but they can be replaced by Traveler's Pledge and Compass Rose. Lakumba's ornaments for the defense, if you can get the roll, you will need Frost Damage bonus. Gazing Demise on your mojo and the Barber for the weapon. In your cube, you will use Shukrani's Triumph for the movement speed, the Ring of Royal Gondar to complete the two Mundanugu and the Captain Crimson set. For bounty farming, you will use Warzician Arm Guards, and for Greater Rifts, you will use Frostburn. For the Legendary Gem, you can use Wrath of Lightning for the movement speed, then Molten Wild Beast Glizzard for the defense, and then Bane of the Trapped. The gameplay is really easy. Use Ghost Walk until you find an elite mob, start with Pestilence, group them with Paranas, and then spam Spirit Barrage until they die. Always keep up your Voodoo and Soul Harvest because you are very easy to kill. You can stack Soul Harvest while in Ghost form. So remember, Pestilence, Parana, then spam Spirit Barrage, then use Gold Walk again, find another elite pack, rinse and repeat. Also, your Manitou will stay on your head for a while, so while you are running to your next objective in bounties, you, you will probably kill most of the thing just by running past them. I did my example on the Greater Rift 100, but do what you can at the moment and work your way up. I hope you found this video useful, subscribe for more videos like this one, see ya!